Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Omar. Today I would like to share a very interesting case. 48 year old female, she presented with a sudden onset of uh, vertigo, difficulty in walking, difficulty in speaking, and in a few hours' time she lost her consciousness. So the clinical diagnosis was limited. The first uh, diagnosis would be a basilar artery occlusion. Whenever a patient comes with a vertebral basilar symptoms followed by LOC, the first and the foremost clinical diagnosis is basilar artery thrombosis. Of course, the metabolic, other uh, drug, uh, toxicity, drug intoxication, metabolic factors are all there. But this is the first and the foremost important differential diagnosis. Patient underwent a CT, CT is reported normal, but there is a dense basilar artery sign. And uh, we did a MR and uh, MR and show we showed there is an occlusion of the vessel, the distal part of the uh, vessel artery and there is a few infarcts in the occipital lobe. She underwent uh, DSS, uh, the angiogram, cerebral angiogram followed by thrombectomy with a de device called uh, penumbra aspiration and trigo device and we could extract the clot. And uh, after 24 hours, she is back to life. And after one month, she, she is fully normal and uh, she, there is no neurological deficit at all. This is the importance of uh, diagnosing a patient in the early phase of stroke and giving early treatment with appropriate uh, modalities. Thank you. Thank you very much.